here we go. Hey everyone, welcome back again to another exciting episode of the Iconist Podcast, where usually we go the icon is, but today, no icon. How's that? Very simple. We got a video submission question from one of our loyal listeners and friend of the show. So before we get into that, let's get down to the basics. I'm one of your hosts, Barry 3D, Deep Dark Delicious. You mm-hmm. know where to find me? Barry3D.com. If you keep keeping up, thank you very much. You know where to find me. You find all my stuff where I'm on tour, where I'm going to be performing live, and of course, every link to this show, be it if it's the video version or the audio version. Remember, this show is all over the internet one way or the other, so please like, subscribe, share, and that's on our YouTube channel. That is on our, our Iconist Podbean channel. Dot com and you can find so iconistpodbeam.com you can find it there spotify google podcast wherever you listen to your podcast this show is there guaranteed every week mm. so that's all i gotta need to say for myself um mm. of course i'm with the man the myth the legend the one who's been rocking the tables more than the titanic titanic plates have been rocking san francisco he's even got a shirt to say it where i should have brought my mug the one and only my cousin, let's go. The, 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 the man the blends with his background, darkness. You know, mm. the saying goes, sweet of the berry, you know, dark of the berry, sweet of the juice. Mm. And that's how he DJs. Sweet, mm. not too dark. Sweet. Who am I talking about? Listen, we're talking about DJ Rod C. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode. And as Barry 3D said, the icon is something different. The icon is. A video chat, a video entry. Listen, we're gonna have some fun today, uh, Barry. What 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 did that individual? What did that individual? You know, brought to us. What are we What are we talking about today? Well, he's got a good question. We're gonna play it in a second. So before we start that, first of all, mm. you oh. always gotta be polite. Mama raised Let's us do right. It. Right on. Let's, so, right. Two. Mm-hmm. So first, Let's do some housework. Always Let's support go. the books. Support the books. Support the books. What I mean by that? Check swings out in Montreal. Go to the South Shore. Check them out. Tell Trevor and the crew we said hi. Right. Also, another friend of the sh- friend of the show is Wild Comics out in Kitchener. Go out there and tell Wes and the boys we said hi. Right on. Mm-hmm. Uh, another friend of the show, Jimmy England. Jimmy England went back to the balconies on season seven. Check him out. He's got a lot of episodes. Got to have some fun with that one. Very informative. Very funny at the same time with his guest and himself. Um, and then last but not least, the one that makes us look so pretty, who's also given us the new banners, our templates, and the whole nine yards. If you need any kind of digital media art, who are we talking about, Rod? Jay Bird Digital. Digital art, 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 art. Jay Bird Digital Art. And before we go, we're going to say this. Thank mm. you, everyone, for always, always tuning in and supporting the show. And keep it open. We like to have some fun. So we also want to hear from you. Once again, Barry 3D, DJ Rod C., and now, Good. our hmm. video submission question. Hmm. Hey there, Iconist crew. I have a question for you. As you know, uh, some movies deviate from the comics. So my question is, is it okay to deviate from the comics for the sake of a blockbuster rating? Hmm. As you know, the, the MCU version of Infinity Wars was actually the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, storyline and we never actually got to see the infinity war story on the uh, on the MCU as a nice as a nice big screen movie yet however the deviations don't stop there other comics like the mask played by Jim Carrey the mask was actually an ultra violent serial killer which was not done in the actual movie and it changes the a little bit of the storyline other deviations such as Catwoman, Patient, Patience Phillips versus Selena Kyle, and something more near and dear to my heart, The Man of Steel. It was too much of a stretch from, uh, from its uh, comics origins. However, you know, I still love Shaq Fu as the awesome basketball player that he is and was, and Shaq Fu tunes still get rocked on my radio. Love what you guys are doing with the show. I tune in every week. Okay. Well, we, mm. we just we just heard. Th- thanks. Thanks for that one. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. wow. Wow. Shaq Fu. Okay. He pulling no punches. None. None, None whatsoever. Okay. None. Then. What? All right. Cool. Out of mercy. <laughs> okay. So the question is on Iconis <sighs> today, clearly as you heard it, is, is it okay to kind of deviate 
mm-hmm. away from like, the source material for a you know block the source material. buster rating. Now, on this show, you've heard us mention before source material, strong bloodline. Let's do it. Rod, what? what? Uh, <laughs> listen, I like to talk it, right through Rod in the bus quick. It's like, Rod. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> my shoe. All right. So uh, as I pick up my shoe and gather my senses, um, is it okay to deviate? And the question is, or sorry, the answer is yes. I believe, personally, I believe it's okay to deviate. Now, the deviation has to be as long as it's, it's relevant to the source material. Now, we're not going to go completely far off that where it makes no sense. Right, I okay. personally feel that it's okay to deviate. And now, I've had this question asked to me. I've had discussion with a lot of people, Barry, other people mm-hmm. over the years. Yeah. Um, I will even use as a slight, we'll just, he didn't bring up that particular this particular character, but I'm going to bring it up. We all know that. I'm going to say the name. Everybody's going to say, oh, yeah, Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Now, now, how many times have you seen Spider-Man? How many times have we seen uh, the unforcing passing of Uncle Uncle Ben? Mm-hmm. Many a many a time. Now, do you want it to be the same? You want it, and maybe in the beginning, but after a while, you're going to get repetitive. And you're going to get get kind of like, okay, we've heard this story, this storyline before, and we right. lost, we lost, you know, some time in that first act that we could have used that for something else. True. You know, okay. that's how I look at it. So I don't mind if they deviate, but as long as the storyline, so, you know, in that regard, make a quick notion that Uncle Ben had passed away. Carry on. Yes. Go someplace else. There's no yes. need to reenact the whole scene. So I, I say it, it, it's okay because you have the opportunity, if you deviate, um, depending on the source material, you can now pull other other aspects of what that character is doing, what they're thinking, what's the whole plot of that storyline. Give it a give it a more realism kind of connection. Okay. So you may have seen the stuff mm-hmm. in in print in a particular regard, but then at the point when you're now producing it, putting it together, directing it, you know, acting it out, you're gonna realize, you know what? This may not have been said or seen on scene on print. But See. if I say around the corner of a different way, you can realize, let me come from a different aspect of it. So I don't mind if you're deviating, but to more precise to his question, is it okay to deviate for a blockbuster? Now, you know on the back end of it that the, you know, you need to draw a crowd. You need to bring people to come and see your movies. You pay money for this. They, sorry, and I say us as a consumer, them as the one who's producing it, they spent money to yeah. create this. So they yeah. want to be able to do something that's going to draw. Now, they are going by the normal formula, you know, action, explosions, you know, depending on what the storyline is, romance, you're going to do whatever to pull them out. Uh-huh. If you have the ability to find something within the source material that relates to one of the top three, t- three four tiers, then it's okay. If you need to indulge it just a little bit, let's say in the comics, he was approached, our, our main vigilante was approached by three outlaws. Okay, yeah, three outlaws, you know, in the comic books, you'll take care of it. You know what, let's, let's up it to seven. Let's just add more spice to it. You know, you, you kind of slightly deviated, mm-hmm. you know. First okay, we came yeah. in with, you know, you know what I mean? If you, yeah. if you have the, if you have the uh, that, this is how I look at it. I mean, it, it all, all depends on when it's written out and when it's produced and when it comes out. How far stretch are you doing that is not realism to the characters MO to their actual style, then if it isn't, then that's where I have a problem. Because if you really look at that person, that particular character, who whatever, you know, whatever the movie is or whatever the, the, the plot is or the action of it, if it doesn't really make no sense at all, mm. like you can't literally stop, take a ponder. I'm like, yeah, I could see that happening. It wasn't in the source material per se, but mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, I can see where this person was pulling from. Continue, hit play. But if it's something that makes no sense, you pause and you have to think about it too long. That's when you realize, okay, you deviated a little bit too far off. off yeah. Course. Okay. Yeah. What, okay. what do you think? Um, I get, I get what you're saying in, in general, and and that's where it gets really scary for me. So first of all, mm-hmm. I'll be very honest. We will never have a 
truly authentic live action movie panel for panel from the source material we will never it will never it will never 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 happen right i don't th- I, I, I anytime you talk even if we went gotten extremely close yeah extremely, it will never be so you're gonna have your purest fans are gonna sit there and go okay yeah completely right so and and hear me out so i i know yeah, go, go walking in it's never gonna happen but when it starts getting too far that is the issue and what i mean by that and then sometimes you get the surprising gems where it actually is better. So, well, I, mm-hmm. right. So I know Sean turned around and one of the first things he mentioned was, um, or uh, what was the first one he mentioned? Hold on. Oh, the, uh, the, uh, the well, Infinity the Gauntlet, Infinity War. Correct. Right. So that was the first mm-hmm. one. Oops. Yeah. That he mentioned there in, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, yeah. And then he mentioned it. So this is how it comes down to, uh, we're never going to get that. Well, right. Because it's too big. It is and too, this, and this, it's this. too big. So Correct. what we got, be happy with. Now, it was well done. They gave us little hints of spice in there by putting people standing right. beside certain people without calling the teams. So we got to see, you know, um, like the female they version of the Avengers. Because uh, mm-hmm. they all stood together at one point. And then Correct. it looked like the defenders were standing together. And, you know, the <laughs> true defenders, right? We're working to in tandem together. So you we got that in there. And and that I was happy with because it was it was Correct. still relevant. Everyone still had their same motivation. Everyone still went forward that it would make sense. When you saw who, who was standing with who, who spoke with who, you know it as a fan of the movies who's only seen the movies and never read the source material, they'll sit there and go, Oh, that's kind of cool. Now, us hardcore fanboys are like, oh, these we guys are on the same stuff. team in a comic book. Uh, exactly. All right, they're supposed to talk to each other. Okay, uh, that works for me. So I'm happy with that. Now, if we go back to some things where it goes fully off kilter, and what I meant by better, so one of them to me was better. And my example is Blade, right? Blade in the comic book and Blade in the movie had the same origins. Correct. They just changed their time. Blade in the movie by Wesley Snipes mm-hmm. looked way better than Blade in the comic book. Correct. Blade in the comic book had a green jacket, brown pants. uh, Well, you know. No, no, I, I, yeah. yeah, His color scheme was, it was more appealing to watch Wesley Snipes do that. And then giving him a sword where Blade in in a movie, sorry, Blade in the comic book never had a sword. Correct. He just had the spikes on his chest, right? Now, Blade in the movie, they gave him the card, they gave him the, the haircut, they gave him the tattoos, they gave him the sword, they gave him a cool looking uh, jacket, so it kind of concealed mm-hmm. the sword almost to a certain degree. He still mm-hmm. had the spikes, but they gave it, it so he, he was aesthetically pleasing to watch. And then adding the, the martial art aspect to it, Blade to me was better. And this was a, a, a little no name character, but times where they deviate too much and extremely, then they ruined it. It's like the old school Punisher. Dolph Lundgren as the Punisher, you had the mm. best actor at the time to play him all four Dolph Lundgren playing the Punisher. But then you got the director that walked in and said, yeah, we're not going to give him the skull on his shirt, but that's what he's known for. So you know skull on the shirt, you make him live in the sewer, and all you did is give him the skull and crossbones on the hilt of his knife. That's that's not the Punisher-ish to me. And the, and, and I this, uh, this is where I agree with you. Like, like even in, in regards to Blade, now making it better, that that is completely correct. Like you got to understand, you know, we understand the source material, but we got to also think, at the time that Blade was printed versus the time Wesley came out, you're going to have to modernize. You're going to have to give it yes. a little extra. you got to change it up a bit. A little, and you oh, got to be more yeah. realistic. Definitely, like, like having him walking around with, with wooden spikes like that, okay, really, I can't walk around town with wooden spikes. But if I have a sword that's hidden, it just looks like, oh, that's a nice, that's a nice piece, whatever. <laughs> Bam, that, that worked out for me. Mm-hmm. So I understand, and this is all I'm saying that depending if you look at the scenario and you realize how I'm gonna how I'm gonna touch it up and give it a little modern flair, makes sense to think like I said, you just kind of like sit back and think, okay, how could this work if I went a little deeper, went around the corner? I was like, you know what? At that time, let me have him blades. I don't have a sword, and you know, again, his name is Blade. He all if if anything, he must have some type of weaponry, a blade type of weaponry. Sure. on him having a little shorthand one eh, but if you're supposed to be a, 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 a basically a vampire hunter this little thing is not going to cut it literally 
I need something longer to show I can do things. And because Wesley had a martial art background, it was a great yeah. way of in that, in, in introducing, infusing that into that character and just give them that extra type of appeal to draw the crowd again. Like I said, if you if you have action, explosion, stuff like that, well, we got Wesley Snipe. Wesley Snipe, by default, he knows martial arts. Let, let's yep. incorporate his natural his natural rhythm into it because it's gonna happen. Like you yeah. would you would probably have like as an example. I know we kind of we're just using Blade as an example. But if you had Wesley as an actor and you say, okay, going action, and he's going, you know, fighting, 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 you can see he has some technique. Why are we not utilizing that? Pause, rewrite script. Okay, now you're gonna come and you can do a roundhouse. You can, you know what, Wesley? Just, just give us, give us, give us ten minutes of taking somebody out. We'll film it and we'll figure it up later. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Let him work with a choreographer and, and get that together and, so. and, and, and get it together. Right. So and, that, and that, that's my point, right? I mean, that was where I said better. So a lot of times I said, you know, we, we're happy that I, I guess the films are are almost suffering from their own success. So what I mean is we know now, or not we, Hollywood executives know that superhero right. yeah, movies Sean. are a cash right. genre. Correct. And they're trying to churn it out, turn it out as much as possible. So years ago, now anyone who's our what do you call it, one of us old heads into mm-hmm. this. When we used to watch our superhero stuff in the 70s and the 80s, yes. if they said Spider-Man 1977 when it came on TV, you're like, oh, we got Spider-Man. And, go. and you were just, just take, happy take for Spider-Man. Go. Just take it and go. Take it and just, go. Just Run. take it and go. When you got the original Run, Punisher, take it and go. The original take Doctor Strange back from the 70s, the Iron Man from back from the 70s, and these are Marvel properties, take it and go. The best one we got was the Incredible Hulk with Lou Ferrigno and Bill Bixby. Right, take it and go. Yeah. Right, yeah. And and even when they did that three movie story arc, when they're ending off his storyline of the Hulk, you know, mm-hmm. so it was you know the Hulk beats Thor of that universe. Right. Now, as fans, we sit there like that's not Thor, but once again, they had Doctor Donald Blake in there. They had Thor. They had the hammer. They had it turning into a stick. Mm-hmm. It's just that every time he struck it, he would call Thor instead of changing into Thor. Right. So Doctor Donald Blake and Thor would be side by side to have conversations. As mm-hmm. opposed to, okay, change into Thor. He gave like Viking, even his color scheme was off, but we take it and go. It's like, okay, but they on by on paper, the words they would say represented Were. the sort the source material a hundred percent. Correct. But visually, no, because they didn't invest in it. They it was like, exactly. yeah, who's gonna watch this? Right. So they, they exactly they didn't believe in the company and business the you know. Yeah. They did not believe, the studio didn't believe in it at that time. And you're absolutely correct. Now that they see Ooh, that, yeah, yeah. That, that, that there there is the, the superhero genre is lucrative, they're going to do that. Now, going back to what he was saying in regards to, like you said, the um, the Infinity Gauntlets uh, saga, it would have, it, it was, it's, it's a very large, intricate um, piece of, of uh, story arc. Yes. So, we did very good. We got very good in regards of when they introduced it, you know, from Iron Man all the way to Avengers and Endgame. Mm-hmm. They basically made sure that they intertwine the storyline across the properties. And it was perfect. And again, I know I, you and I have had a conversation, had a conversation with people. When Marvel started doing this, you just looked at mine. That means that's a good thinking. That's a good thinking. And That's right. I'm I'm sorry to say DC dropped the ball on that, and they saw that. And I'm like, oh, it's never going to work. And in my head, I wasn't until I say DC Warner Brothers because I can't say yeah, DC. Yeah, I just yeah, no. Warner Brothers themselves, the studio themselves, just look like mm, I don't know. When you're realizing, pick up a hand, find a story arc, and realize how many different story, uh, how many different um, comic books are intertwined in that. That's what that's what Marvel gave us. Marvel gave us that. Marvel had a plan. Marvel took a risk, and and they were ready to discard it from moment one if it failed from the first picture, mm-hmm. right? They were ready to do it. So, and you're right. So, this is what my point is. If we want to know the old heads, us old school guys who came up with this stuff from the '70s up to now, I know we're aging ourselves. When I say you know that whole last three movies up to the death of the Incredible Hulk, where they introduced Daredevil. 
Mm-hmm. Now, Daredevil on paper, he said the right things. He had the right motivation. His cast was there. Foggy was there. Paige was there. Care. All of them, everyone was there except for Electra. He fought the Kingpin. He had his powers oh. with the radar sent. You know, he had his billy club, but he dressed all in black and he didn't have the symbol on him. Okay, that, that was where we stopped and didn't get through. But every other aspect we had. So at the time, as a hardcore fan, you were like, ah, this is the best we're going to get. Right. We're just going to take it. You know what I mean? We looked at it as a glass half full, right? right? Because I don't argue with people up to today. The other best, at the time, property, in my opinion, was Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., where it was David Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff, yeah. Right. And yeah. people are like, what are you talking about, Barry? That was so cheesy. No, go back. David Hasselhoff played a perfect in my opinion, Nick Fury. He had the look, mm-hmm. he had the eye patch, he had the grittiness, he had the cigar, they had the helicarrier, yeah. he had all the uh, associate members from the, the supporting cast from uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., right? Dundum, Gabriel, all yep. of them. They were all, the Contessa, the, you know, all of them were there. All of them were there. And they were doing, and they were fighting the, the proper people, you know, with Stryker and, and Hydra. It was all there. Don't, people look at it, if it was a bigger budget behind it, it would have been it at the time in the mm-hmm. so 80s, 90s, 90, right? So, you know, now what I say about the success is, as you, as you pointed out, Marvel sat there and said, we want to do this. We're going to open our own studio. We're going to do Iron Man. Now, it was exactly. weird. They went with Iron Man first because people mm-hmm. would have thought maybe Spider-Man, but because of behind the scenes, Sony had right. Spider-Man. Correct. And this person had the X-Men and Fantastic Four. So they said, we're going to do Iron Man. If the fans like it, and it More does well, people. Yeah, we are going to map out a story arc that's going to lead up to the Avengers. Right. And they started on purpose putting teasers after the credits. And, and, what was, and, no, and, and they took source material from different universes. So they took the 616 universe and then they took the Ultimates universe because yes. in the Ultimates, Nick Fury looks exactly like Samuel L. Jackson because mm-hmm. the artist drew Nick Fury yeah. as Samuel I. Jackson. Right. He to the wanted, point where he wanted him. To, he like he when he when he created Samuel L. Jackson for the Alter Universe, he said, I like there's many articles you can find that he said, like, I saw Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. And I just I just you know, I had to put it in, I had to draw him in, whatever the case would be. And it was more of like ask for forgiveness, do it, then ask for forgiveness after it's like yeah, drew him up, whatever the case may be, and then said Samuel like saying, What why am I in a comic book? Oh yeah, listen. We we love your work. I'm. We thought you'd be great. Like, would you would you mind play, you know playing being our 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 our? Well, that's it. And Sam and that talked was about that because they. I know they did it. They said do it first, kind of ask for forgiveness later. I forget, Sam, and then when Samuel L. Jackson caught to it, and he's like, "Hey, wait a minute!" Someone's like, "Hey, man, the user your likeness. What are you talking about?" That what? is me. And you know, Sam, oh, <laughs> yeah. that is me. And he reached, and he had their people reach out. And he goes, "What's going on?" And Marvel's very quick, like, "Hey, look, okay." We know we did this, but we have a project in mind. Correct. And we want you to play. Just give us a little time to put it together. We'll make it right to you, Sam. And here he is now, 20-something what movies later playing the same character, yep. and he's loving it. And he's not chasing an Oscar. He's chasing the work. Where he you understands, go. you know, no, no. The, the, the material. So Marvel sat there. Now, now, to the question, did they deviate from the properties? Absolutely. There was little yeah. deviations here and there, depending on which property it was. But what they where they saved themselves is they deviated from the individual properties, mm-hmm. right? But the overall goal was Correct. to make the Avengers. Correct. Correct. And they got the key people on there to on, make the adventure, the Avengers. You see, the good thing about what Marvel did is like you you're right. They 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 knew the end goal. Yes. And again, there's a lot of source material. So it's hard to find what particular story arc that you're going to do for one particular character. So it, you're going to have to take little bits and pieces of here and this and that. That's why, um, is it three that he, that is it Iron Man three where he had, you know, he was, you know, just little alcoholism. Was it, was it two or three? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was three. It was, it, it was, was three, three. Right. Yeah. Right. So again, you look. And and as we all know, source material that was a very long arc. That was a very yeah. detailed arc, and you can't. It'll be hard for them to say we're going to 
we're going to do a full three three part movie like you know three movies on, in, on him being you know you know on the influence of alcohol and everything along the line we'll just put it in there we'll put it for a couple of art uh arcs i mean you know, I mean, you know scenes and that kind of scenario yep and and then just basically realize he went through a little depression and kind of pull himself out kind of scenario uh that's how i look at it so the great thing about when you're going back about your the older ones my scenario like you're saying the source material like you said punisher is a beautiful example they didn't have writers the writers they had was again regular screenwriters uh -huh. who were given like the same way that the, the approach for the comic books to me was just like if you have adapting a, a book a novel you yeah. have the screenwriter take the book whatever do his version of it and whatever the case it be yes. and majority of the time it's just a standalone book that you only can just take you take that book take that novel and dig into it as much as possible and you create your own ideas great the only problem with comics there's too many books that you could be getting you there's a more enough um source material like you say source material that you could pull from so comics back then they should have did that but again in my eyesight they never believed the studio never believed in comics nope so this was more of like people are calling for it let's give them something just to get them off our backs type yeah, of scenario exactly. and and that was it and whatever the case would be already expecting it to fail from the beginning that's why like i said for me when they did um batman michael mm. keaton yes that was when when that came out i will tell you i was in movie theater and for me the first i was already hooked but by the time they did their zoom shots on the on the bat signal i mean on the on the on the emblem and just yeah. diving in one corner here, coming out i was like what are these guys doing um loving this literally ladies and gentlemen we're like maybe like 30 seconds into the movie it just uh -huh. the title and i was already hooked and i'm like holy if this is good if they're doing this you guys take my money and they took my money with gladness. many times gave, because many times i, I, I gave it glad a lot i gave it with gladness just why are you not taking the money here's my wallet take it take it so take it that, um dc did great with that so marvel was smart that's how i look at it that they realized listen we we're gonna do this on our own we have the writers we have we have the source material dig in yeah, and you keep, you hit on a key point because a lot of times they would give the books to someone who was not into the comic book field, was not a comic book okay. fan, and they would look at it and go, "Well, that's stupid. Why are you walking around in spandex? That's stupid." So they automatically had this idea that it would they would talk down to the people, right, right. and insult them. So anytime you had to work, it's like, "Oh, well, I'll take it because a paycheck's a paycheck." So their heart wasn't in it. They weren't a fan of the property. The first thing they're gonna do is, "Oh, it's stupid. I'm not gonna take it." And they would they would strip away anything that would identify that character. So that's where it went too far. Now, mm -hmm. in its success, when this genre really started to pick up is when studios realized because of Batman, it was there. Superman Christopher mm -hmm. Reeves, it was there, right? Mm -hmm. And then Warner Brothers are always investing in those two. And then Marvel was still kind of low grading it, been being oh, cheap, you know, they couldn't get the budget. So when they finally went into it and said, well, hey, why are we going to give it to someone else to direct it that does not a fan of the product property? Why are we going to give it to someone else? Because you know what? We don't need to make storyboards. Just buy the issue. We have artists that have already done the storyboards and sold it years ago, and now it's worth how much money later on. So they got smart with their property, took the chance, did Iron Man, and said, we're going to map it out. Now, I'm not going to say every Marvel movie was top tier. Hmm. Some were a little bit less. Some were awesome. But right. the end result overall, even though they deviated here and there per character, each character, each movie deviated, we still got the core of the Avengers. Correct. So they did origin movies for all of them, got the Avengers, did a kind of Avengers origin movie with people who were on the Avengers at the time. And then they played out their story arc up to this big grand finale right. with, with Thanos, right? So uh, even though it was different, the characters' motivations didn't change. Their looks were very similar to what it was in the comic book, mm -hmm. right? Nobody acted out of character to me in the books there of course there was a couple of moments where certain people act out of character you have to you got to let it go and for those you're like okay sure you know like, mm -hmm. the, like the black widow flirting flirting with bruce banner right but yeah. I, I didn't say i was hating it and i like the fact that they put hawkeye and black widow together and they never made them a couple there was no it was just friends you right. know it's like you can't be friends with a woman it, they were friends she she worked knew his wife, you know, and 
god godmother to his kids they were like yeah. friends and i liked they were 100 percent friends no no blurred lines that was good so was it different sure because in the comic book were they ever romantically linked no but no. i in the comic no it was mockingbird who was with no Hawkeye. no no completely yeah, yeah, yeah. no completely completely right. but so, i agree but so that, 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 that deviation was that deviation was was you know acceptable you know what i mean exactly I, for the big picture that was a small that was a small ripple so they stayed true enough or they didn't veer too much so my point is you could deviate for the big blockster thing but don't deviate too much you gotta if, if the lane if you're in, in in row one you can go you know a, a, a one row over to the left one row over yeah. to the right sometimes one up, one down. two 1. 1.5 yeah. no more than that keep it within that context and you will have greatness right wow. now uh, now where other movies failed is where they go too far so like the other one he mentioned was catwoman yeah <sighs> listen catwoman like so he brought up the Mike michelle pfeiffer version and reference Halle berry to yeah Halle berry one i like the Halle so, berry poster one <laughs> so you see this this is again where this again my outside thought process is with that the studio is creating the heli bear like so michelle pfeiffer one that at least that one was connected to the michael keaton one so at yes, least okay, you yeah. kind of you kind of kept that together in yep. in that regard yep. so we didn't we didn't make a reference calling her uh selena kyle uh because i i don't know maybe it was maybe at the time this is 1990 when this came out and they may or 80 uh 89 89 90 89, but they yeah. probably but they probably were thinking like hey this might be a little bit now seeing a lady all in a in a, in a black skin tight cat suit might have been whew, a little bit too much to be you know young 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 boys watching this and everything like that so they may have wanted to make some kind of distinction and say this is just cat woman but it's not it's not our selena kyle one right right right, right. you know you know what i mean just it just again it, it might have been a little little wordplay and you know and just visualizing and just kind of trying to keep them separate because we know bruce and selena had something but in this realm they wanted bruce to be by himself just to say he if he's going to connect with with catwoman it's supposed to be Kalina, Kalina, um selena kyle so right. at that point like mm, phoebe yeah that's not for real so we'll we we'll, we'll, we'll know we'll let that one pass yeah. you know but the catwoman but, one with halle berry that was that to me was just a that was just like it's just a restart they, it, it was, was a, a cash reboot. grab it was completely a cash grab unfortunately to say it was it was a cash grab um that they would they purposely did not want to make any type of connection to the i'm not even sure if the screenwriter even read catwoman watched catwoman with adam west burt ward you know eartha kit or, or or any of the ones that played catwoman before like, i'm like it's like Listen. catwoman what is she a superhero yeah okay um cat woman sure we'll give her cat powers she's a burglar okay we'll make her steal stuff with her cat powers that, that's basically that's basically what's it. her costume look oh no i have an idea put her in a bra uh a mask and give her pants but like ripped like they're ripped by a cat yeah cat woman yeah okay we're good that's her powers i'm like you were so far off the, the, the source material and that's why i said the success of it because batman was so successful with michael keaton mm -hmm. that they were like oh we're gonna do a spinoff cat woman now, when the movie came out, people were like, that's not our Catwoman. What Catwoman are you talking about? You were better off calling this hero a different name altogether mm -hmm. and just giving an original story. You would have gotten right. more credibility than using a character than then not staying. You were supposed to be in lane one. And what you did is you U-turned yeah. in lane 10. And then you went oh. through the desert and ended up in the Arctic. And you said, I don't know, the GPS screwed me. No, you went so far off. And that's where it hurt that movie. You should have been a different movie. A different movie name don't call it catwoman you could have called her you know uh, uh not nightingale that one person already exists but something different you know what yeah, i mean yeah and not yeah. catwoman and try to and then say well it's catwoman but it's not your regular catwoman well it's not anyone's catwoman exactly uh, you know she's you can call her woman cat that, that's well, what i'm gonna say woman cat or lady cat lady cat lady or cat. like that, that it been, lady it cat and that would have been okay fine and it would have done as it did i mean you know but uh, pamela anderson did barbarella or not barbarella um uh, there's a cartoon one she did, Barbara or someone else. But yeah, Lady Cat, that's it. Because it was so far off. The studio just wanted the money. There was no long-term plan. 
they just put her in and said, well, we're going to be different. Instead of, you know, Eartha Kitt was Catwoman, so she was black when she did. We can get Halle Berry. Yeah, right, that, yeah, that, yeah, 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 that, yeah. That's yeah. What I'm saying, right? She played like, Storm, like, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, and that was what? it. No one had any idea of what they were doing, and this is why the movie gets trashed on so much. Like I said, Listen. I personally never watched the full movie. I watched yeah, the first, I, I, what, I, 10 I, minutes, and I was like, out. I, I, I watched it just to say I watched it, because I at least want to say good or bad. At least if I'm going to make a comment on it, I want to know what I'm commenting about. And yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It was just like, to me, to me, I took it that. I took it that executives, we want this movie um, to be a spinoff of Batman, but there's no Batman in there. Oh, okay. So we're doing a spinoff similar to that Catwoman, but we're not making no reference to Catman, Cat, um, to Batman? Correct. Okay. So that's to me was it. So it was more or less you're making a movie without any type of reference to Batman at right. all. And, and what that's happens every time that happens, they screw up. And you know how badly they screw up? Because then they do one of these things. They, how do we get ourselves out of this hole? Have you heard of the multiverse? Have you heard of other dimensions? Oh, okay. So Halle Berry Cat woman is from a different dimension yeah yeah that's the ticket yeah that's the ticket well, well even at that time even at that time multiverses wasn't well didn't exist and that's all they're trying to make now that's how they're trying yeah, to you know just, yeah it's so, it's it's the only way to do it for all of them for any 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 they make a, older yeah. o- older ones they're gonna have to call it with the multiverse which is you know fine right but you and, know and, man and up Warner and Brothers face tries. the fact that it wasn't yeah face up that you 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 unfortunately you dropped the ball and try to pick that up and kicked it and kept trying to pick up the ball and you kept kicking it just stop running, stand, pick it up versus trying to run and kick it. You know, you're just running and pick it up. You can't do it at the same time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's how I always trying it. to be someone different because look, I mean, we look at Catwoman. Okay, fine. And then we had uh, Shaquille O'Neal that was Steel. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. He was he was better than Catwoman. Right. You know, I'm not saying it was great. I'm just saying to me, it was better than Catwoman. It was yeah. closer to the source material ish. Yeah. You know, and uh, so it was Steel with Shaquille O'Neal. And yeah. So these are the movies we came up with. Now, mm-hmm. with because of success, everyone's just trying to throw whatever to the wall and see what sticks. So Catwoman hit the wall. Oh, it fell off. It, that's not going to stick, right? right? Marvel realized what was Warner Brothers was doing, and Warner Brothers was like, oh, man, we need money quick. All right, we're going to do this movie, that movie. But because they went so far from the source material, it never works. So if you yeah. watch Flash, I like the early series of Flash, but then they got off kilter with it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, but, but was it Birds of Prey? Yeah, Birds of the Prey. TV show. They started off with that. Now, Birds of Prey was an existing comic book. Right mm-hmm. away, you put it on, and then they put on the Huntress. Okay, she's the daughter of Batman and Catwoman. Okay, Batman got into a bad fight with the Joker, and he left Gotham. No, he wouldn't. Ne- Bruce Wayne Never. only left Gotham one time because his back was broken and he wanted it fixed. Right? <laughs> exactly. So, no, he would not leave, especially knowing he has Never. a child and leave his child behind. Sure, the Huntress from Earth 2 is the daughter of Bruce Wayne, Selena Kyle, right? right? And she takes up a costume. Hack. No, but the this one, Birds of Prey, Barbara Gordon is paralyzed. So wait a minute, Barbara Gordon as Batgirl wouldn't exist because from back then, I'm not talking now, back no. then she was Oracle and they get, it made, and it made you know, uh, Huntress, Helena as a Huntress, but they gave her superpowers. They made her a metahuman. Like I said. It was, uh, they were just trying anything to stick on the wall. It was, uh, while you're talking, I'm trying to remember. I honestly, I, hopefully I'll remember by the end of the show. Uh-huh. Uh, I remember watching a, a movie and all I was saying to myself, all you had to do is just replace the name. Just like you said earlier, mm. don't call it this. And this would have been perfect because you associated with that particular title. Right. Like it's it, it just, not, and it's just, it's hurting me now. I'm going to try to see if I can remember. No problem. By another one show. for me, and I know it's not a superhero thing, was Miami Vice. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you look oh. at Miami Vice, the movie with uh, Colin Farrell and uh, Jamie Foxx. Yeah. That, that wasn't Miami Vice to me. You could have called that movie something else. And it would have been yeah. better because people have a pre-notion of what Miami Vice was supposed to be. And that was not Miami Vice with Crockett and Tubbs. Again, they were so, trying to give it the, the, the up-tempo version of it, yeah, a little more grittier, yeah. which was a, a great idea, but it it just wasn't. It, it wasn't didn't, Miami it, Vice. It, 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 it wasn't didn't Miami have Vice. that cool factor to it. So to answer his question, is it cool to deviate for a blockbuster rating to a degree? 
Completely. but have a plan. And that's what I think a lot of the studios don't have long-term plans. They just do it as a quick money shot. They take advantage of us as fans, mm-hmm. right? And then they walk away. This is like, why I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. Now, the fan-made films, right? those are fire. Those are Completely. fire. Like Right now, I just watched one. It's called Starscream OVA. It's a short little cartoon that they did of Starscream, you know, from Transformers. Mm-hmm. It, right. I, and it fits it, the character. I mean, it, it's just, and, you know, Megatron shows up in it. Uh, it fits the character. It's something that Starscream would do. It's something that Megatron would do. How, how they acted was true to their personalities at what we learned right. from Gen 1. So Got it. you can deviate a little bit once you have an overall plan. If you don't have an exit plan, you don't, you don't have an end game strategy. And then, because what happens is if you start deviating too much without having a, trying to bring it back. So you could start, it's like, a, it's like an egg. You start at one mm-hmm. side, deviate, but make sure you bring it back to as true as possible conclusion. And what happens is people are, you know, when they do the movie, it's like a pyramid. They deviate. And, they and then you get, to like, you get to the top of that pyramid, like an ice cream cone. You deviate. And then there's nothing there at the top. It's really like an ice cream cone. So at the bottom, it starts off nice and tight. At the top, it's all wide and open, and there's no end game. It's just empty right. space. And then when they try to fix it, they do it by not anyone that really knows the source material or wants to respect the source material. They walk right away from it and say, I'm going to do my own version. No. If you want to do your own version, do your own movie. <laughs> Completely. Completely. Like, you know what? I'm trying to accumulate the different arcs they did for Batman versus Superman. Because that, honestly, unfortunately, it did bother me. Because yes. when you see that they're trying to do, this is now the later version of Bruce and Clark. Yeah. But we're now we're playing them when not, they're young. Not even Clark, just Bruce. Not, well, well, no, well, Clark Clark was still old. He has slight grade, I mean, because he always, he aged slowly. But that this is, um, yeah, I don't know. This is the Dark, the dark Knight Returns. To me, that was supposed to be the Dark Knight Returns. So the yeah. Dark Knight Returns, he's basically, he's a little bit older. Clark is a little bit older, but he's, he's still older. Right. But if you, you know look at I mean? Man of Steel, if you look at and watch it again, Clark is actually sorry, Bruce is actually older than Clark. No, what that's what's that's, that's yeah. the part I'm saying. Oh, yeah, it yeah, should yeah, be yeah. about oh, it should be about the same. You're but correct. they're yes, looking, sorry, my they're, bad, they're bad, basically yes. off, they're off like that. Um, so that that kind of like made me crack yep. my head. I was like, okay, fine, we'll we'll let that one go because you wanted Henry and you wanted you wanted Ben. ben. Uh, okay, no problem. Again, to me, Ben, when Ben was Bruce Wayne. Ben did a very good Bruce Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Batman, you know, you know, it was a little bit more grittier, but it 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 was it was they deviated. But then you have the story arc. You've seen the Killing Joke, the um, uh, death of um, death in the family, death of the family. Yeah, um, Killing Joke, death in the family. There was um, Dark Knight Return, but there was too many arcs that they tried to accumulate in there, and that was upsetting me. I was like, yeah, big um, time. Come on. You had, you know, the death of Superman story arc. You had the, you know, death in the family yeah. story arc. You had yeah. killing joke story arc. Yeah. And these, and, and people are like, oh, it's too dark. Well, of course it was too, because you took the darkest storylines and just and threw, them, threw all them all together. Right. You put it in a blender. So the one scene that sold fans is when you saw, you know, Batman and you saw Ben Affleck in the, the, the armored version, you know, his, his armored Batman. Correct. And you see, you know, he turns on the light and you see Superman hovering and he's got the red eyes. You're like, oh, this would be awesome. Now, I, I was willing to take it to a certain degree. But then when I watched it, I'm like, oh, this is let's pick a storyline like Batman versus Superman. It shouldn't even been Batman versus Superman. We all know it's Batman, Superman or Superman, Batman, world's finest. Correct. I would have been happier with world's finest, mm-hmm. you know, Batman, you Superman or Superman, Batman. Don't even call it world's finest. Just call it Batman, Superman or Superman, Batman, whatever. Give one of them whoever's got top billing and let them go. Now we know uh, as the superhero rule, anytime two heroes meet, they're going to fight first, realize they have a common goal, and then team up. And this would have been nice to start that story arc. And then you threw in Wonder Woman like they did. That is mm-hmm. the birth of the Justice League. That I know that's right. why I call it, you know, Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Dawn of Justice, yeah. Right. But you had Doomsday in there. Doomsday storyline is a full storyline. That, that, that was another one too. That should that have been a movie, nuts. right? And they and that's where DC doesn't have a plan. That's that's where I said they deviated too much. So did they put a budget behind it? Yeah. Did they try to get the fans behind it? Yeah. 
Did they deviate too much and hurt their product in the long run? Yeah. yeah. To me, the saving grace of DC currently is, mm. you know, that's out right now. That, you know, as it was the Snyder Cut. The Justice League <laughs> Snyder Cut was true to the character's motivations mm -hmm. within the universe that was created for the cinematic universe. So you can look and say, oh, okay, I could see Superman probably acting that way, being killed off by Batman and having this. When Batman says, get the big guns, you know, everyone thinks it's Cyborg and all the rest of the team. No, he brings out yep. Lois Lane. Lois, yep. I'm like, okay, that's that's Bruce being smart. Yeah, right. Lois Lane would be the big gun because emotionally, that's the person that will stop him in his tracks. Correct. Right? So that that's what, it, so he's thinking. I like that aspect. You know, I like that a lot of things of the Snyder Cut as, and now I'm a hardcore fan, as a person that's going to say, hey, they got another Superman movie. I'll go and watch it. They got a Justice League movie. I'll watch it. They're not going to sit down for four hours <laughs> and go through the Snyder Cut. Like we, as the fans, will go through the Snyder Cut. Correct. So staying to the source material, you're going to get a four hour movie. Trying to do the blockbuster, you're going to get the Joss Whedon <laughs> Justice League. And you see the differences right there. Now, Snyder, even though would have done a two hour movie, he had a three story arc to go. Correct. In his movie. His side movie with Ben Affleck as Batman would have been fire. Ben Affleck was all, and, and once again, they scrapped it. And then when I say fire, they already had uh, Mike Mangolia, uh, um, I think it's Mike, Mike Mangolia, no, uh, who, who was playing Deathstroke. The actor was playing Deathstroke. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Right, they already had him. The armor looked good. You had your storyline mm -hmm. that he finds out because of Lex that Bruce Wayne and Batman are the same person and they're about to throw down in Gotham. So Batman inviting Deathstroke, I like it because one, no more Joker. Had enough of Batman and Joker. We've seen it all the time. How many times can you have it, right? We got a little smidge of it in Suicide Squad. I was good with that. Mm -hmm. So him fighting Deathstroke, the Terminator, an assassin who's got, right? That was the fight I was looking for. Yep. I would have watched that movie. I would have watched to see what other movies it would have come up with within the Batman universe as Ben Affleck, and I would have been happy with it. Mm -hmm. Henry Cavill. Superman, uh, sorry, Man mm -hmm. of Steel. Great. We never got a Man of Steel 2. Man of Steel 1, always the origin we know. Man of Steel 2, I would like to see where it went. You yeah. know, uh, John Jones. John Jones was in Justice League both cuts, but only in the Snyder Cut you saw him take on his true form as his green Martian self. Yeah. The, you know, Joss Whedon never gave it to him. And, and that was a miss, you know, uh, Lois being pregnant. That was bringing in, you know, John Kent, possibly. Yep. Missed that storyline. So deviating from the source material without an end game, dangerous, dangerous. Mm -hmm. you, you can deviate a little bit, but you got to keep the character's motivations intact. So is it is it the right way to go? Let's be honest. In my opinion, would I always like it to be source material? Yes. Is it going to deviate? Yes, mm -hmm. it, it, are they? And that's why I get scared. Every movie you see, is it going to stay true to who the character is? You know, uh, and I, and I mean, because I don't care if you're going to turn around. If you take Captain America from, um, no matter where you put Captain America, we all know what Captain America, how he thinks, how he looks at the world. No matter what situation you put him in, you should be able to understand his decisions he makes. It shouldn't be like a heel turn. In WWE, like, or you know, or AEW is like, well, this person turned on his friend, and then all of a sudden that makes no okay, we didn't see that coming, and then they have to come up with the backstory, and you're like, ah, okay, you got you got now me. We, didn't see him, but it, he turned heel, he turned heel. Okay, turn. right? You you can't put in there, you know, and even comic books sometimes they don't get it right because Captain America they made him like a almost a triple agent or double agent, you know, mm -hmm. he was an agent at Hydra at one point. So you can't say cap you can't put Captain America in a certain scenario. And watch Captain America pull up a machine gun and start shooting people and killing people because everyone's gonna say, Well, no, even though he's Captain America, even though Steve Rogers is in the army, he never pulls a gun. This is why right. Bucky is there. Bucky's there to do the wet work. So Bucky pulling a gun on somebody as the winter soldier, yeah, that's true to his motivation. That's true to his character, right? right? right. This is why he carries a sidearm even <laughs> as a hero. Now, Captain America carrying a gun, like Steve Rogers, Captain America. No, he never would. He So if he was to do that, it makes no sense. So going back to your point, when you're talking about off the source material in Batman, yeah, Ben Affleck as Bruce, loved it. 
as Batman, a little bit off because Batman would not carry a gun. <laughs> mm-hmm. Superman wouldn't kill somebody, right? You know, he has in the comic book, but it's not his go-to. He, Superman is not just a brute with powers. He's a thinker. He would have yeah. found another way to stop Zod without snapping Zod's neck. Completely. Completely. So that, to me, was also, uh, again, there was, unfortunately, the movie was, the movie was good. I, yep. I, 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 I enjoyed it. Yeah, same here. But I know, I definitely would have enjoyed it much more if I didn't have to, like, bend my head on that okay well all right we'll accept that because again if clark is supposed to be superman is supposed to be he's basically supposed to be the um the the um oh my god i just the the the, the blue boy oh my gosh what was the terminology why i've just went completely blank the, right oh now. the the blue boy scout the blue boy scout thank you the blue boy scout for him to go and snap snap his neck come that's on son. uncharacteristic of him yeah that's that's un- uncharacteristic of him no, so, no. so, 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 yes, he may be a superpower, and yes, he realizes the only way for me to stop Zod from, you know, burning the, the individuals who's trapped in the corner. Eh, yeah, Clark would have at least figured something out, put your hand in front of him. If we're both supposed to be, you know, indestructible, I'll take the burning, cover your eyes or something, you know, yeah, crack your yeah. neck. No, there, 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 there could have been other alternative ways that you could have wrote that in the system. Um, Absolutely. Listen, I I, I want to say one thing though sure, in regards to um like rights and stuff like that. Why why we, we gotta worry not worry, but Spider Man. I, mm-hmm. I want to go back to Spider Man for one thing, because this yeah. is definitely Spider Man was definitely in the early stages, um, when we were going with the Tobey Maguire, we're going with Andrew Garfield, those particular those particular years, those eras of that time, it kept repeating because they had to keep the rights. So the yes. rights were going to run out. So they had to just continue making another movie. And this was, to me, not to sound bad, this was laziness that you have more than enough source material that you could have continued on the storyline. Okay, Toby's out. He's, you know, he, he passed the prime. Okay, fine. We have a new person pick, picking up the gauntlet. Fine. Okay, do a quick little, you know, take take about, take a week and, and run a couple of scenes that shoots, you know, flashbacks of yeah. Uncle Ben. Get that out of the way. Cool. In the first act, we still got enough time in the first act. Now, guess what? He's going after the shocker. He's going after some. Bring it, Craven. Bring in other characters instead of going back and rehashing over the same thing again. Thank that's you. why. That's why I, I. You can see. You can clearly see that with Marvel. There's no. Although right now, Riri Williams going to be in a sense kind of replacing per se Iron Man. But there's never no thought process that you're going to have to make another Iron Man. You're going to have a, you know what I mean? A, mm-hmm. a, a, you, know, you know what I mean? Slowly, they're, 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 they are, they are re- not, re- I guess the replacing is, the rights of it is still is still good and valid with Marvel. That you're not saying we're going to have to have a new Iron Man. We're going to have a new person and start the no. storyline all over and recycle yeah. and, and, re- and reboot it from the beginning again. We're not going to worry about that right now. You know what I mean? Yes, mm-hmm. you have it now that the parody spinoff. You have Iron Man, you have Iron Heart. You have Natasha, you have her sister being a Black Widow. You have right. Hulk, you have She-Hulk. Yes. You have you have Thor, you have uh, Jane as being a new Thor in or Love, Valkyrie, Love yep. Sun, a Valkyrie coming in right now. So it's kind of like you have your spinoff per se, your spinoff, but not your re- full reboot. The no, right, right. going to stay. And, and that's what I like about Marvel because they're doing that. They're doing. They're thinking ahead, like really and truly. We've had these characters for how many years? And we never really rebooted. Well, you reboot per se for new issues, but it's like hard in between. It's like hard in between. Yeah. Uh, DC and them are just flipping them out a little bit too quick for me. And, and, and there's Sony no was doing that way with Spider-Man. Like how was, mm-hmm. Kevin Fergie and those guys turn around, they go up to a cabin, they sit down there for a weekend or a week or whatever. They go through all their sure. phase, phase five. This is what's going to be. Ba, 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 ba. Marvel, they can't get on. Uh, sorry, DC can't get on the same page. Warner Brothers. Yeah. You know, as I said, they they they've got the characters, they got the actors want to do the work, and all the time, I don't know what the executives it's are doing. And there's it's no end game. Now. It's catch up. It, it, what it is to me, I, I you're right. You just first, said it. It's just catch up. Here, here's how I thought of it. Iron Man came out. They made how much money? Iron Man. No, no. no but we see, <laughs> Iron Man came out. Marvel, Marvel came out with Iron Man. DC's like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, that's never gonna work. All right, guys, just you know, whatever. Let's just continue what we're doing. Came out with Thor. What are these guys doing? No, no, no. It makes no sense. By this time now, you can slowly start to pick up 
Are they intertwining those together? No, that makes no sense. It's never going to work. Yeah, and by they're not going to make the Avengers. They're not going to make the Avengers. Not even making the Avengers. Not even making the Avengers. Just the whole. To me, the whole concept of, of intertwining movies because you don't intertwine movies. No. Up to then, you have never intertwined movies. No. No, it's true. So, so the whole concept of like that will never work. But in my head, I'm like thinking, a movie is literally a living comic book coming to life. A comic book coming to life is what we what we aspire to have. Right now, we're having a living comic book right in front of us. Do you not think the source material is intertwining people? New York, like we say, everybody's like saying, how come Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, uh, Avengers? You know, we can go down the list of how, like we saw, um, uh, shout out to gentlemen who made that, that map for us. Yes. You basically see the whole of Marvel all in one scene. Are you telling me they never intertwined? Daredevil never intertwined with these guys? Of course they did. Big so time. how come so how come DC is not coming from that aspect? They never had faith in it and never thought it'll work. So now it's all catch up. And that's why to me, the Avenger not the Avenger, the Justice League storyline was pushed too fast, too much, and basically saying it, it never made any sense. So listen, DC, you have the opportunity right now. Do it properly. Guess what? Take not to sound harsh, take just take take the the, the, the painful rub and just say, okay, fine. Congratulations. You know what do you have to do now. Start from now. Wipe the plate, the plate clean, clean and start from now and gauge yourself for 10 years like Marvel did. No one's going to be upset with you. They're going to accept you if you do that. Do if it right. If you come out with – do it right. That's all it is. For the next five years, uh -huh. <laughs> do your own version of phase. Do your phase one starting now. For the next, the next, th sorry, the next three years, have your movies in place. Have yep. it touch to each other. And yep. basically accept the fact you are going to be ten you're basically twenty-two movies behind Marvels, except the fact it's already lost. You're already lost. Yep. You have no choice but to start it now. Start now and basically say, Okay, guess what? Marvel, we see you, hold my beer. And you have the opportunity now for Marvel to hold your beer and do what you gotta do. But well, exactly. are you gonna let them hold your beer? It's up to you right now. Yeah, you're right. I, I, and and so you know, I'm getting back to always to Sean. It's like Sean, I, the question is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the question is. Oh well, too late. Right. The question yeah, yeah, is. Okay, quite, okay. Um, how far can we go? And the point is, is it okay for it to happen? Uh, so basically, only if you have an exit plan. Only if you have an end. You know, because here it is. If I make any type of property, right? I don't want to just do it a couple of story arcs and walk away. I want to make sure that I leave myself a door open to keep it going this is where other companies should listen learn you know for example james bond james bond is seen more as a serial he comes and he does that one story goes away mm -hmm. he comes back he does another story it's still james still james Wait. bond he's still 007 he's still majesty secret service he's, you story know he, yeah yeah so you know the character is always the same you know he's got a license to kill these are the name of his movies but it's also represents the character so you know that james bond is a, a notorious womanizer he likes his martinis you know what he's all about he gets in there and the last couple of ones with daniel craig really got more right. into the origin of james bond and how he really right. became who he is and why mm -hmm. okay but he fought different people all the time but you know it was james coming in all the time and that's the way you got to treat these heroes they fight different people all the time superman will be superman no matter if he's finding people from krypton people from another dimension his Correct. evil self, uh, Bizarro, Correct. Justice League, going through time, meeting up the Justice side, whatever. He's still Clark there's, Kent Superman is Clark Kent there's, Superman. There's enough story material. Right. And off. they keep, and if you respect the story, if you look at it and say, as a director or a screenwriter, if you look at it and say, that's foolish, I'm going to do my own. No, you've just disrespected the fans. And, and just because you got the studio behind you to give you the money doesn't mean you have any longevity. And then next thing you know, when it comes out, it's a flop. You're in the office going, well, I don't know what happened. If you stayed with you know, the you know, you know what happened. You you went off, you deviated off course. It's simple to say. You said you you know what you said the right part right there. Like, you know, you have an end plan. In reality, in reality, Barry, yeah. they had an end plan. They had an end plan just to end at the end of two hours and 39 minutes. That was yeah, their end plan. Exactly. They never had it. Th that was their end plan. Don't so so when you're saying that you no, know, they should have an end plan, they already had an end plan. They had no end plan to be five. 10 movies away they That's never right. had any 10 they never had no. any 10 their gears was like if anything like right now i say the justice league one to me was a trio 
They just wanted to put that one, two, three, call it a day. And that's it. But there's no, there's no forethought to say, no, you need to build up the Legion of Doom. Like at that end with Lex and Destro, that to me was where you could have like saying, we, we, we could have the Legion of Doom. We, we, we could go like that. Or even again, if you want to listen right now, DC's to me saving grace is Young Justice. Young yeah. Justice, it, the anime, that's, that's the saving grace for me. And look how far they've done that. They've done three seasons, although it's three seasons, but in anime, that's long. Yeah, and they basically had it from the beginning. The light, the light, like they kept see, hinting the light, and, and they went cartoon in. Is Beautiful. solid, son. Look, Justice Blue. League, Justice League Unlimited, solid. Blue. Live action movies. I don't, and, and on, that's son. that was that's 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 painful. But again, <laughs> all, painful. All, all we're all, all we got is all we're trying to say is that you can deviate. Deviation is not a problem as long as you have a plan and you realize. That now, since everybody is fully understanding, studios are fully understanding that superhero genre is is the latest cash cow, the latest lucrative uh, properties that you can work on. It's now that they need to sit down and say, okay, we have access. It's not like I can come up and just come up with a character, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna have to come up with a storyline and a back back you know a background and give a story arc, whatever the case may be. You guys already have that. You guys have. You guys have files called comics, files of different source material that you can dig into. DC Universe explains it all about the powers. Marvel Universe. Like, it, they both have. But this, they both that's what I'm saying. And, they, you know, they just need to use it. Just they, use it. Exactly. They got to reuse it. They got to read it. They Okay. Uh, and, 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 and I know we're wrapping up, but I know another part mm-hmm. here is other comic book companies. So we have Image would spawn in that universe that's just waiting to happen i know they're rebooting spawn jamie fox mm-hmm. is supposed to be doing it we'll see how that plays out there's other people that can bring in right like wildcat so forth you know uh what works they, okay val uh, you know um then there was a a variant that, that brought in yep. uh uh variant or valiant that, that brought in um you know exo man of war so you had a blood spot that was played yep. by by um, uh, um, vin diesel vin diesel yep yep right? yep, yep, the yep, yep okay the movie was all right but, but there's a, and this is why I say fan made stuff. If you go on YouTube, people, if you go on YouTube, look up Ninjack, a web series, and you'll see Jason David Frank, who used to be the Green Power Ranger. He plays uh, Bloodshot or Bloodspot uh, uh, in there. Mm-hmm. He looks more like the character than Vin Diesel did. He got into the makeup. Okay. They represent the source material. It's Ninjak versus the whole universe. So you got Exo Man of War. You got Blood, you know, all of them in there. And that was really well done. Live action. Live action. Well done. Okay. When when the internet can, you know, YouTube can turn around and do a better product than the big cinema, you have to question yourself. Why? Because someone stayed with the source material and someone yeah. deviated from the source material too much. Sure. It's it's all about right now. I said it earlier in the time that it came when they, you know, these shows were coming out and everything like that. No one was thinking longevity. The longevity was more of we'll do a part one, part two, part three, and it's standalone, barely any type of interjection from one to the other type of scenario. And they would have just tap out, they'll tap out of three. They just thought their head, three is more than enough, not realizing no, if you have individuals, you can intertwine. So you're now talking about what works in that regard, spawn in that regard. Listen, as we already know, image um, variant, they have enough group within themselves that yeah. they now, if they basically take the opportunity, they can start creating their own universe. And I believe that once they create their universe, people are now going to start seeing like Marvel did it. Marvel just basically kicked in the door and not even kicked in the door. They kicked in the whole wall. The wall is still open. Everybody now has to like, what are you doing next? Oh, oh, not even doing next, not even doing next, but more like saying they did that and it, and it worked And the blueprint. That's basically what I'm trying to get to. That's the blueprint that, that made sense. They, I thought it couldn't be done, but people are accepting that go through that wall. That's the only way. That's the only way that you're going to survive going forward, that you basically, you have the properties utilize it and just and you will you will see success off of that 
if if this is the part where you have Martin Scorsese, um, Martin Scorsese, whatever I can't pronounce his name, Scorsese, was saying super Scorsese, yeah, sorry, saying yeah. like all these superhero movies is no good. Listen, no disrespect, sir, but at a time, um, the the main genre of movies was you know gangster type of you know type of shooting up, you know that kind of movies, whatever the case to be, and yeah. it pulled it pulled in great. That's been that's that's still the genre right there. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me you can't like people are going to accept that because in your mind you may still think of seeing comics and cart comic books from your generation, which is older and just didn't like, ah, there's no depth yeah, for kids. To it. It's for kids, right? right? They don't, they don't take it as seriously as they, well, as they should. Yeah. Uh, but but, but Scorsese, saying, I mean, like, you called it out. He does all these gangster movies, right? But you don't think there's, I mean, what, who's the king? What's the kingpin? Right. Like I, like what, what's who's like black said, mask? Like I said, like who's I said. Oswald, you know, Pink, these are all it, authentic gangsters. Now, if he would have walked in there and did a Scorsese treatment of one of these guys, that, that. Okay, if you if you get Quentin Tarantino doing a Joker movie, okay, and we know Quentin now 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 Scorsese won't do it. But Quentin Tarantino, no. Quentin, Quentin, Quint, 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 he would do it, and it would be you would love and, it because him doing a Joker movie, it, Mr. Q, Mr. Q. Okay, it's it's uh, listen, someone get this to get this to his ear. Let him just get here. Just fast forward to this part, sir. If you have the opportunity, it'll be greatly appreciated if you will look into that. And hey, I'll even go this far. Joker's done. We, we, we know it's Joker. You give me Quentin Tarantino and let him do Creeper. The Creeper from DC. Hmm. Jack Ryder, Creeper yeah. from DC. Yeah. Because when he's in his Creeper persona, he's, he's full of crazy. And it's yeah. action. And if you look at Kill Bill, the Creeper as a reporter by day and uh an unbalanced okay. vigilante at night okay i'm look i'm i'm looking at i'm trying to i'm starting to see if a, a quentin hans can how it would, give how a different it would work feel. That. and Definitely quentin a is a fan of source material okay so we're we're getting off subject we'll talk about this another day but as i say for me we always will deviate from the source material yeah it's gonna happen but you make sure you, you have a long-term plan not to leave fans it. hanging or feel that they've been misled, you know? And I know, you know, one of the things that was mentioned was the mask with Jim Carrey. And it's different because right. the mask was a serial killer. Right. It caused people to be a serial killer. And then Jim Carrey made it more funny. Even Comment. though they had the yeah. darkness, Jim Carrey's wackiness put it off, but it was believable because of how they set up that universe. But mm-hmm. keep in mind now, is it true? Because the mask is tied to Loki, the God of mischief, nothing mm-hmm. to do with Marvel, just, Loki, the god of mischief, that opens up a different universe with the mask. And if you go back and you watch what the mask did to people, you Mm -hmm. know, where he turned around and those two mechanics weren't working in the guy's car. And then they showed up and he had the the muffler right up his hoo-ha. Right. Okay. That's dark. (laughs) Completely. Completely. But (laughs) you you can't, like, the the, the source material, like you said, is very, very dark. Like, and, and this is where we'll answer that part of the question as we reference to the mask. Yeah, that'll be too dark to bring to to public's eye. That's definitely yeah. if that was like if that version was made, that would have been one of those in the time direct the video direct the DVD. Been like, it wouldn't have been and it would have it would have been, it would have been a cult. That that would that would turn into a cult uh, favorite right yeah. there. That would yeah. just turn automatically to a straight to DVD cult classic if they went in that particular type of genre. Yes. Yes. Like, it would have been right. So so blockbuster aspect of it, they couldn't they couldn't use that source material they have to soften that up and again it's understandable when well, they you did look it, they did at, it tastefully they did it right they, it's cool. you watch that movie up to now and you're like man that movie was good you know what yeah. i mean i i, I so it can still stand the test of time it can still stand yeah. it can still stand the test of time I, I don't think enough people knew it i mean to understand it like i mean look at the crow the original crow with uh, mm. brandon lee yeah if you read the book you watch the crow you're like yeah he had the look he carried on mm-hmm. He had the motivation and character. I'm in. Right. And, he, and and that was graphic for some of the scenes. And even though they might have softened it, it was still there. So, dude, thank mm. you for the question. Yeah. You know, um, as I said, thank you for the question. It made my head hurt on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but I'll say this, you know, I don't mind. As I said, I don't mind the deviation. 
once you have a long-term plan. Don't make it feel that I you've just kind of taken my money and didn't give me something that was worthwhile for my entertainment value, or it's going to be so far off from the character that it's not the character, and the character is not recognizable in my eyes. That that's my see, my two cents there. You're right. So my two cents in that sense of your your thoughts is definitely more of of a Marvel type of aspiration where they're talking long term. Like you can have you can have a one shot movie. That's no problem. And it can it can as long as it doesn't deviate too far from the source material, as long as it looks like it makes sense what that character yep. is doing, yep, then it'd be like, okay, like I never thought of it from that aspect, but you actually sat down and did some good research and it's like, you know what? That's still parallel to what the character would have done. Again, this is even for the like one straight along I mean could just a straight movie. Like uh, uh, whatever whatever that you're 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 making but like you may want to make say a creeper and it's not a longevity one but you're going no. to go but you're going to follow the source material and if you go off and just say you know what maybe um well you know i can't even i'm not even trying to to no, but I mean, like, any some ideas. characters but, some characters don't have enough like the creeper won't have enough to right. have like three four movies going forth but one Correct. good movie I'm one happy. good movie but but again, as long as the storyline doesn't deviate, like you know what he might he might be have he might have been um, coming out of an asylum type of scenario. Who knows? Who knows? However, the the right, storyline right. will be. So we know initially he wasn't like that. But if the storyline at least made some kind of sense along that line, an accident or something that traumatized him to you know to flip over like that, and then he had to spend time in in, in an asylum, which he never had to do in the comic books. But you're like, okay, you know what? Something traumatized and happened, and you know that forced him to like. He just couldn't accept that reality, and he had to spend a little time. And then he thought he was better, and then he just had these little relapses, which turns right. into the creeper. You know what I mean? Again, that's not the book, but that's that's I can accept that because that would make sense. Exactly. Don't trauma- make the X Men like a biker gang. Yes, right. Looking at you, Fox, got the X Men, made him look like a biker gang. Where was the costumes? That is a bad deviation. And then they deviated so much, it wasn't even X-Men anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's wondering I who's the first mutant coming into the Marvel Universe. Well, we just lost, you know, it's going to be Namor. Or is it Miss Marvel? We don't know. We'll talk another day. Yeah. That's, that's a good conversation. So, Rod, any any last words before we wrap this one up? Uh, no, you know what? Listen, uh, I, appreciate, um, I appreciate the input. I definitely appreciate that you guys are reaching out. Uh, again, this is what we've been telling everybody. Listen, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to put it in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe, continue supporting us. We appreciate it. And um, you see, we got a video in that regards. Reach out to us. If you got if you got a video, a little a question, you know, if you have a, a question to to send us, well, send us send us that question. We'll Absolutely. Do, you know, and, and we'll look into it and we'll 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 do another segment as well. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. Exactly. So one thank you for that question. If you got a video submission, we'll take it. One question, one video, keep it under a minute. We'll put you in here, and, as you see, and we'll talk about it. And we can go that way about it, or you can just, you know, write us, let us know. Mm-hmm. On that note, this mm-hmm. has been the Iconis Podcast, and we've been talking a whole lot of, is it okay to deviate from the source material? And Well, we've mm-hmm. heard our thoughts about it, and you see our examples. Remember, this whole world was created by what? A pencil, pencil. a piece of paper, and lots of imagination. No matter what, keep on dreaming. There you go. Let's do it. Stay focused. Stay on target. Stay on target. What's the game?